Hello everybody and welcome. This is for the problem solving course. I am Maria Drushkova and we have a Mary Crew here. Please introduce yourselves. I'm Taryn. I'm Andy. I'm Alessa. And I'm Diane. It's excellent. And so today we are here to discuss dreams and in particular mass dreams. So as far as mass and kids go, what are your dreams? Well, uh, the kids and Diana have not seen much information about this, but uh, I'll let the kids speak about their interest in math first. Taryn, do you just want to say a few words about what you like about math and what kind of stuff you might like? To learn? Yeah. Well, I I forgot what uh, what was it called? Fractal training. Fractals. Oh uh, yeah, I like to I like about fractals. They're pretty interesting. And then I heard about a, a website uh, that you can actually make one. So I want to learn about that. Uh, so uh, there are several fractal makers online. Do you like to make your own things? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so. Uh, when we start, we'll have uh, certain problems. So I want you to make your own things for them too. Your own pictures, your own ideas. Will it, is it something that you like to do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fractals are very beautiful too. So mm -hmm. uh, is it what you like, beautiful things in math? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so how, how about you, Alicia? Um, I want to learn more about algebra because since I'm going into eighth grade. So. Okay, so um, algebra. What is cool about algebra? What is interesting about algebra? Um, just like the formulas. <laughs> okay, so you dream about formulas. Is it what you dream about? Is it that your dream, big desire? Yeah. What is it all about for you, Alicia? What is algebra all about, or math? Um, it's just I mean, she's, she's really good at math, and she wants to learn more. I see her wanting to expand on understanding the letters and how they play into, into the formula. So she's been working with her math teacher to, to figure out all that information, and then going to Andy's class these last two weeks seemed to help her to understand some of this stuff. Okay. okay. Academy, right? Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Well, my, so my husband was a mathematician and my kids take after him on uh, learning math. They're, they find it very intriguing. My son is always building stuff with Legos and then telling me how many parts are in it. Um, and then he's always adding, like I, I do real estate on the side, so I'm having to add numbers a lot and do formulas um, to understand someone's mortgage. And so my son, when I'm telling someone on the phone, he's trying to give me the answer without using a calculator. So it's kind of funny to be in the car driving, explaining someone's mortgage payment, and my son's trying to figure it out without a calculator. So I find that he's intrigued by the numbers. I mean, he'll add them up really quick um, on a piece of paper and then give me the answer. Um, where Alyssa... She's, she's, uh, she, when my husband passed away, she didn't really want to do math because she thought that um, her dad wouldn't be wanting her to do that. But we talked about it in counseling, and now she's really coming around to wanting to do more, according to her teacher at St. Thomas, um, that she's really the one raising her hand in class, trying to figure out the answer before someone else in her class figures out how to do that. And I enjoy math. And so I tell them every day, you, you need math no matter what throughout your life. You will use it in some shape or form 
um, throughout life along with reading, you know, but math is just as important as reading and social studies. Alisa, so think big. Think about the life, the universe and everything. What do you like? Um, uh, I like, uh, wait, can it be anything? Anything whatsoever. I like ponies <laughs> and dragons. Look, I always have a dragon nearby. Look, <laughs> you always have. What is, what is in your bed right now? I like dogs. You like dogs? Yes. What do you like to play with them? Yes. <laughs> What do you? What else do you like to do? Uh, I like to play outside. Mm -hmm. And run and do gymnastics. You like gymnastics? Yes. Yeah. Playing. Okay. Uh, so, uh, when you when you work with these problems, it will help. You know what I'd like you to do. Figure yeah. out how to do them outside as you play. Do you okay. Think, do you think you can try to do that? Yes. You can make them about something. Do you like to write or to draw any of those things? Yes. Are you a writer? No, but I like to write. You like, like to draw. write? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Draw. So uh, maybe you can write your own little stories for problems or to okay. draw them is it well, draw a picture. Okay. does it sound interesting yes maybe even stories about dogs okay. <laughs> hmm? I always write stories about dragons when I write almost always but um, I don't write much stories um, I want to do more of it so okay and um Maybe, uh, Devin, maybe you can build things. Maybe even you can play together outside when you do the problems. Do you play together outside sometimes? I see your boss going to the pool or coming from the pool. Yeah. <laughs> so um, maybe you can do that, right? Mm -hmm. So your, your grown-ups um, will be helping to change the problems, right? these people <laughs> that's right so how how will you how do you change things to meet your math dreams how can you do that me personally yeah so um well i used to work for intel and so one of my dreams was you know to be a training coordinator so i went off and i did that my other dream was to stay home and be with my kids and help them with their studies. And so that's what I've done. I've taken a job as an education assistant. So I work with special ed or special needs children. And so I help my children by showing them that there are other things in life you can do. You don't, you know, but you need to do your studies um, first and foremost and everything else comes second. So I always try to get them to see things um, from my perspective as an adult because they want to be kids and I get that, you know, and sometimes studies, you know, are maybe not the first thing, but it's becoming the first thing because it's taken us three years to talk about it in counseling to say studies are first. And so that's where we've come and that's where our dreams are now is to be smarter and better at something that you didn't think you could be, um, that that good at again so they stopped wanting to do those things um, because their father wasn't here but now they're wanting and they're intrigued especially my son he's very intrigued and Melissa's coming along trying to get her back up to speed and getting her there so I have tutors that work with her to get her skills back up to to her math skill where she was so um, let's uh, let's get into that algebra right Let's try to get into the, the formulas with drawings and stories and dogs, maybe, <laughs> right? And um, uh, we can do a lot of play to uh, in in that particular course. And uh, Andy, you have a center, right? A camp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how 
what are your dreams for that? Can you talk about that? Yeah, well, mostly I would, two things. I would like to become a better math teacher, teach. I like to think that at the math camp, uh, we focus on the why and not just the how. So, for example, when we did the Pythagorean theorem, we tried to prove it by cutting out triangles and moving them around to see that, you know, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And um, so that's my focus, is learning how to do that better. Also, um, as far as content goes, um, I'm personally interested in problem-solving techniques and as far as the types of problems, it's kind of hard to say, but maybe calculus since that's kind of where I'm stuck as far as my own personal math skills at this point. Maybe kids can help. Maybe what? Maybe the kids can help. Yeah, I don't know about that. I know that <laughs> you've got James Tantum, and after last year's math camp, I took my personal vacation days from my regular job, and I went to a math camp for middle school teachers in Taos, New Mexico, and James came for two days, and it was fantastic. So... I'm looking forward to seeing what he has to say. Uh, he, he, he has some good comments there. So, kids, uh, you help uh, you help Andy with calculus, okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, we it's did up to you during the math camp, so maybe they can help. You me. are our only hope. <laughs> I like Star Wars. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh, there's your there's, there's me. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, and um, now that we talked about my questions a bit, what are some of your questions? What would you like to know about uh, about this course? Yeah, I was just wondering how you guys uh, handle such a wide range of ages and abilities. So are you going to, is James going to be suggesting specific problems or more like we create our own problems. Both. Because everybody's different, so we have a lot of groups going, and it's not just ages, it's interests. So something, some people like to draw and play outside, some people like to build, even within the same family. Some people like to dance, and some people like Minecraft, some people, uh, yeah, okay. So, um, different people like different things so the idea is we will give some adjusted problems for different levels so mm -hmm. grown-ups can help the kids either start at the level or go to a different level but also you can think of that things maybe of of, of the your own adaptations maybe you can take a problem and put it into minecraft or maybe <laughs> you can take a problem and uh figure out how to do it as an outdoor game so you can run around with it <laughs> right maybe you can figure out does it have formulas and algebra in it so you can take that problem and figure it out where is the algebra or if you don't want to do formulas you can figure it out how can you do it without <laughs> so I have another idea maybe so, we could make up some good math games I would love if you make some good ga math games. You seem playful and serious at the same time. And that's a good combination for game designers. So all four of you sound like you would make good game designers because of that. So maybe that can be your mission to, to make some games. Does it address your question? Does it answer your question? Mm -hmm. So do we have an assignment or and when does the class actually start? Uh, 
the first set of problems will come on Monday and you'll have a week to adapt them, to figure out how to do them. And there will be just three problems, so theoretically you can do them in just a few minutes, but you can play with them, you can design games for them, what not. The idea would be to actually do the problems, um, to actually do the problems next week after that. Okay. And then the next set of problems will come. So it will come week after week. Does it make sense? Yeah, they'll all come in emails and then we work on them and then we submit them to you? Yes, so the, uh, the reactions, the plans will be, uh, this is more technical part, you kids want to go, we'll just talk about this admin stuff. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for bringing the kids, it's a good idea and I'm uh, happy to meet them. So um, this is more admin stuff though. So the idea is, if first week we look at three problems and prepare to do them. And everybody discusses them so you can see people in similar situations, right? Uh, people who maybe have kids with similar interests, what they plan to do. So the task will be to make little plans. Just, just kind of sketch what you think you'll do. And then the next week, when, when you work with kids, when you do all the fun things, when you work hard, all these things, maybe design a game, whatever you do, uh, play outdoors, <laughs> build, um, just write about it. So everybody will be sharing. And at the same time, you'll be preparing the next set of problems. So okay. we only have three set of sets of problems. We, we have 10 problems all together. So it's a three weeks thing in July. So when we get the problems, are we watching videos of James? Uh, they, uh, the problems come as PDFs uh, with descriptions, so pictures and text, not videos. Now, James has some great videos online, and I think some of them talk about similar things. I'll ask him again about it. Uh, I think there, there are relationships, but uh, there are no videos for that particular course. Now, if sometimes you would want for him to make a video, that's definitely a good request, because we all love his videos, don't we? I know I do. Okay. Would, would we be able to interact with other families that are doing this? So uh, we will have a common space. I, I just sent an email about it, in fact, uh, about how to post to that space. So everybody will be responding within the same space and you can write comments to people, questions, they will see it. Uh, you can uh, see what other people are doing. So that interaction is by typing. We may have at the end uh, some group events, but it's very hard to coordinate because there are people from all over the world. So that's why we are meeting separately like this. Uh, I hope uh, families uh, will connect and centers, and so there is some networking through just seeing each other's links and so on. So uh, th this this will happen. Uh, does it? answer it? Is it the type of interaction you'd like to see or something else? It sounds good. I was expecting like, you know, an online forum yeah. we could interact, that kind of thing. Yeah. So we have this uh, question and answer tool that's a type of forum that's a bit more focused than general type forum. So I think we will stay uh, on, on, on topics, but you can start your own threads there as well. So you can pose your own uh, new topics. It's open like this. Yeah. Okay. Anything else? Do you need anything else from us? Yeah, what do you need from us? Uh, this week, just you, uh, Andy already answered the questions on the forum, and we already had this. So your sign up is complete. Uh, on Monday, the three problems will come, and we'll need brief plans, minimally. 
and you are welcome to ask questions to everybody on the forum or to an answer other people's questions to comments and uh, that's optional but very available so that's it just uh, play and work with kids that's kind of your main task so coming monday you'll have problems planned that's it okay sounds good um uh, um, I have ele elective surgery two weeks from today, so I'll be out for two weeks. Diane is the I'm on vacation next week, but I can get my emails and we can work on it while we're on vacation because we're going zip lining and whitewater rafting. With, I know with Girl Scouts and all of their families, so it's a big family outing, but I think that the kids can still. I can get on email and we can answer the questions and do the problems while we're outdoor and they can be thinking about it while we're playing. Excellent. Excellent. And you're back the next week. And then week. I'm back the next week. I'm back uh, on the, I, I'm actually back on July 5th, which is so I've only gone five days, six days. So are you on the forum or is it just Andy posting? Andy, you're okay. the only one. I'm the only one, but. Uh, okay. I'll so, pull her all the emails. And then I'll read them. Yeah, I'll read them. Um, but she could also log in, right? Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, let me know if you would like your own login because you are on vacations at different times. Oh, okay. So okay. you can get a separate login. Just uh, okay. we'll know that there are two logins to this one group. Okay. Which is okay. Um, or uh, you can post through Andy or send him things okay. to post. So, so this, whichever is... And then you yeah. post it, and then when, you, when we get back, we can Okay, get and maybe uh, I can talk to you about it. Right. Yeah. Also. Okay. Yeah. And uh, okay. kids can tell stories. They can, you know, t take photographs. So if they like to write, they can write pieces, give them to you, uh, oh. whatever ways they want to participate. Okay. Make little movies about the adventures yeah that's yeah. yeah yeah that would be nice they can videotape it and then summarize yeah. it in a writing oh yeah. they, they can just uh, narrate a video that's a lot of kids what, what a lot of kids like to do they make videos of what happened and just talk through it and put it somewhere people can find it oh on YouTube. Yeah. Mm. and i have uh, my camera will download videos so we can we can just do it on the regular camera and they can video it awesome so sounds like a lot of good plans are happening. I really can't wait to see what what will be there with your mass adventures. Yes, yes. Well, yeah, they're going to be when they're zip lining. They need to come up with their math numbers of how fast they're going down that zip line. So I'm like already or thinking. Or how fast? Or how or fast? Something. Yeah. Okay. The, 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 um, what are they called? Ratings for all this. For example, the river has a rating. Oh, right. That's a very interesting mathematics last time I looked. Uh, the same with climbing. The climbing walls have ratings. So uh, that's, um, that's so people know not to do something too hard for them. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> but uh, the way they figure out the ratings is a fascinating topic if you want to investigate uh, something. So... so Anyway, uh, best of success in your adventures. Thank you. I'm going to stop the recording. And if you have any questions, post on that forum. I sent instructions or email or Skype me anytime. Okay. Thank you. Nice meeting you. So. Thanks, Maria. Nice meeting Take you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.